Good evening, everyone. Today is December 6, 2018. I just got off of work. I'm headed to pick up my children from daycare. We're getting ready to head on over to church for a meeting. And I got to pick up a couple of things before we head home. Um, getting, you know, a little closer to Christmas. I haven't put in my Christmas tree just yet. But that'll be up before the end of the weekend. I promise. I have to get it up. Uh, my children are still little, so I'm still working on little traditions and things of that nature. So I guess I'll be doing a couple things by myself until I get a little bit older. However, I am still excited about embarking on a journey of moving out of state. So I have been creating a list, a realistic list of things I need to handle. Um, giving myself some time to make sure that I handle things at a reasonable very reasonable time frame and just making sure that um, every step that I make is impactful in a positive way to where it'll be nothing but um it'll be just you know pretty much like an easier um, transition once I get ready to move I thought about well moving out of state with two small children can I do this and often been in like deep prayer and uh i've been getting a lot of a lot of things that have been sent my way uh, i feel like god's been speaking to me about my decision and i feel as if he is uh confirming my decision as far as being the right decision that would be best for me and um my children myself and i wanted to just check in because this is a slow process and my time frame is six months. However, I wanted to also be realistic. Honestly, at the end of the day, it's like, well, what what do I need to move out of state? Of course, I can give away all my stuff and just start off fresh. And I would love to secure a job out of state. That is totally ideal. That would be the best idea for me to uh, I can't just jump ship and just be like, you know what? I'm going to move out of state with two small children and hope for the best. I can't rock like that. <laughs> I, I I think so much to one sometimes where I, I become an overthinker. I overprocess things sometimes. And I always got to have not only a plan A and B, I need a C, B, E, F, G type of, that's how I think sometimes. But I don't want to, I want this to be an enjoyable process. Of course, when you have two small children or just children children in general, you have to make sure that you cross all your T's and dot all your I's and double check to the max. However, I don't want to stress myself out with this because I feel as if if I try to overthink this, I will start making mistakes or maybe I'll start just being like second guessing myself and I don't want to do all that. I want to make sure at the end of the day, I'm preparing myself. Um, I got to see what type of job I want out there. And I, I know a couple of places where I can look. However, at the end of the day, it's all going to follow me. And I'm about to rock this. I can do this myself. I know I can. I just had to, you know, talk to my sisters. I got a couple of sisters that I talked to and they was like, well, you can do this. You know, you can definitely do this. I'm a, not more so really afraid, but I, I kind of want to know what the outcome is going to be. You know, when I get to that, that time cap that I placed for myself, it's like, okay, well you had this time to do this. Like how far did you get, you know? And I, I have like a long realistic list of things, but I wanted to make sure that um, I'm always honest with myself about what I can do. And I want to make sure that I pave the way to where my children will be happy as long as myself. So we'll see how far I can get. We will see my progress. And I got picking my kids from back here. So this is just a rambling post, but um, well, rambling blog, but I will, you know, keep going. That's all I can do. All right. Good night.